Hey everyone, welcome to this month's edition of Coffee Break. Joining me this month is Jen Wagner, Nikki Johnson, and Elaine Marvin. We're all here for you. Today's topic is going to be one of, uh, well, an average conversation because what we're going to talk about is averages or lack thereof. We're going to go to Jen first and she's going to share something with you. All right, I've got a question for you guys. Did you know humans have an average of under two arms? I know, I, I, I don't believe it either, but let me share something with you here. Some people have no arms and some have only one arm. So if you have two arms, guess what? You've got more arms than the average person. Can you imagine if the glove or clothing industry utilizes the average number of arms to produce their items? This is just one example of why averages don't tell the whole story. So let me share with you another example pertaining to care needs. So what you see in front of you here, this plot point represents a population of age versus length of care needs. As we look at this plot point, you'll notice that the average line only represents a fraction of the population. The amount of people above and below the line are not good indicators of what the average line is reflecting. There are a whole lot of more people above the line that did not get represented accurately, and we could leave out a large population that could potentially be financially devastated. So now I'm going to turn this over to Nikki to explain a little bit more in depth about these averages. Thank you, Jen. I'm going to share some facts and figures with you regarding the length and cost of long-term care claims. Many of you may be familiar with 70% of individuals over the age of 65 needing some form of long-term care during their lifetime. But did you know that for married couples, the chance that one spouse will need long-term care rises to 91%? And of those who do need care, 20% will need it for longer than five years. So tell me, do you know which of your clients will be the 20%? With lifetime long-term care protection, you will 100% know your clients are protected for as long as they need care. AALTCI did a recent study with the top seven long-term care carriers in the industry regarding length and cost of long-term care claim based on gender. Five of the seven carriers reported that men met or exceeded the length of claim compared to women. And all carriers reported claims over $1 million. In fact, five of the seven carriers reported claims in excess of $2 million. Planning for the average would only have covered a fraction of that cost. The belief that average length of care is sufficient would have created one of the most devastating financial decisions in life. Remember, long-term care does not discriminate. It does not know age. It does not know gender. And while long-term care will not happen to every person, it will happen to every family. I'm going to turn it over to Elaine to share some information with you about Alzheimer's. Elaine? Thank you very much, Nikki. Um, you know, in our industry, I think the catastrophe that people think about is Alzheimer's, um, just because that seems to be one of the lengthiest days that people end up dealing with. Um, and again, word average is terrible. This is called long-term care, not average term care. But in this industry, again, when it comes to Alzheimer's, the average Alzheimer's, not the maximum, the average stay is eight years. So if you had a client that, let's just say, has earmarked some monies from their IRAs to be their care, their care plan financially. Let's think about what those numbers might uh, create. So if I have a client, let's just say a 60 year old female who's got $150,000 IRA, and that's what she's gonna earmark to be her, her care plan in the event that she needs care. And she ends up with the average Alzheimer's day. By converting that IRA at the age of 60 into our annuity funded whole life program, we're gonna take that $150,000 and create $7,613 per month for her care. Um, that would equate to $106,129 for one year. Um, if that was the average Alzheimer's day, which is eight years, which is about 100 months, that's over a million dollars tax-free 
that's been created for her care if she ends up with the average. And again, if it's beyond the average, um, it's a bigger and bigger number. That's tax-free money. That's a big number. Now, if she waited until the age of 65 to buy this policy and convert her IRA, uh, that's fine. But that number is a little bit lower. It's now $6,561 per month. Um, if she waits until the age of 70 to buy that policy, again, still a great idea, but now we're down to $5,146 per month tax-free for care. That's still a big number. That's $61,572 per year tax-free that we've converted that IRA. And we are the company that has this strategy available for your clients. If they're going to be self-funders, chances are their self-funding bucket of money go-to is going to be a qualified bucket of money, an IRA, a 401k, a TSA. Again, we're going to convert that into lifetime tax-free LTC. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. More than anything, it's a great, great, great solution for a family to have. Um, if you, again, need more details on the mechanics of this, that's what we're all here for. Uh, please reach out to us and talk to us about this. All right. You had a lot of stuff thrown at you. And a couple of questions that popped to mind. One is, are you average? Well, according to Jen, all of us are above average. So we answered that question. The second thing is, if we're talking to clients, why are we looking at averages in, in considering average to be acceptable when each person's situation is unique to them. Here's the important thing to recognize and where I'm getting at it at this. Longevity is an issue. Only one America can address that because we look at that long claim. Average is okay. Everybody can be average. The second part is our solutions aren't cookie cutter. A cookie cutter solution is playing to being average, or maybe average plus two, but it is being average. Work with your clients, plan with your clients, consider the averages in the conversation, but in reality, get outside of that and think longevity and what is their likelihood to require what we as agents, advisors, and as an industry provide. That's an insurance solution to help them when they need the help the most. With that being said, if you have any questions, you want some details on any of the products or any of the conversation about average versus longevity, reach out to any one of us. You have our numbers, you have our emails, love to hear from you. With that, see you next month. Thanks again.